this particular run of track is really primarily a freight run to Lowell from Andover. It's part of Lowell Junction. And this is where the entrance to Sirio's Grove lies. I was here not long ago and, and now back to catch a few things that I missed last time. Over in the understory we have a turkey. <laughs> no sooner do I land at the Sirio's Grove trailhead than I run into one of these majestic, ridiculous things that have now begun to reclaim their old stomping grounds. Coming back from the verge of extermination Look at the old thing, just placidly plodding along like it owns the place. Hup. It's raising some feathers. It'll shamble off into the woods, no doubt. Ah, there's a couple of them. A veritable flock, looks like we got a youngin'. <laughs> to see these things back. They're fearless. Oh yeah, there's a whole posse of them. <laughs> yeah. Hunting just isn't in fashion anymore in most of the greater Boston area. See the tracks that go to Lowell, and you see official signage from the Andover Conservation Commission. Their little blaze. All you need to know, skillfully and tastefully done. Vernal Pool is one of the more subtle amenities of Sirio's Grove. It's dry now, but it's essential habitat in the wet phases of spring for such things as salamanders, toads, any of the uh, quasi-aquatic quasi-terrestrial members of the amphibian family that need a place to be born. This is kind of their local maternity ward. And it's something that you spot shortly after entering the woods from the field. Coming into the place, it'll be on your left. And here's how we enter that charming and convivial camping zone at Sirio's Grove. A chickadee sentinel near my upper ear, letting me know what it thinks of my presence. It probably wants a sunflower seed out of me or something. <laughs> 